Romans chapter 6, verse 7. For he that is dead is freed from sin. For he that is dead is freed from sin. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rakah Kodash, for giving me the spirit to this lesson. Let's read that again. 6, verse 7 in Romans. For he that is dead is freed from sin. Let's go into freed in a blue letter in this verse. Strong's G, 1344. Dikaiao. Dikaiao. All right, it says to render righteous or such he ought to be, to show, exhibit one to be righteous, such as he is and wishes himself to be considered right, to be declared, pronounced one to be just, righteous, or such as he ought to be. Right. So what are we freed from? Let's go back to the scripture. Okay. What are we freed from? It says, for he that is dead is free from sin. This is a powerful, powerful scripture, man. I mean, beyond powerful, man. You know, you could just read this and be like, oh, I'm just going to read today. But no, you got to really catch this in the spirit. I mean, think about it. You mess up. You fall short. You still sin. Okay. But in this scripture, it says you are dead. Okay. With Yahweh Shah. So you are freed from sin. And when did that occur? When did that occur? Let's go back and go to. Let's jump to first John chapter three, verse nine. Whosoever is born of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh do not commit sin. When were you born of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh From the beginning, okay? Before the foundation of the world, man, okay? When it was Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, then you were created, okay? You were created to do what? To be blameless. For his seed remained in him, and he could not sin because he is born of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh so it started at the beginning, man. Okay. The spirits were chosen at the beginning not to commit sin. Though they mess up and fall. Righteous man falls seven times and get back up again, man. That's what it means to be freed, man. Okay. To be dead in Yahweh Shah. You were chosen before the foundation of the earth to be dead in Yahweh Shah. To be blameless, man. That's big time. Not everybody has that opportunity. Only the elect has that opportunity. So when you meditate about this and think about this, man, you better be very thankful if you are in the right mind state, man. OK, to stay in the mind state, to fulfill this, to be that blameless. Now, I'm going to go back to Romans six chapter because I really want to read into that verse I read in that chapter. But first, let's go to Romans chapter eight, starting to verse twenty eight. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love Yahweh by Shema Shai. To them who are called according to his purpose. For whom did he foreknow, he also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his son, meaning without sin, okay, freed from sin, that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. Moreover, whom he did predestinate, them he also called, and whom he called, them he also justified. So, yeah, we have been called to this gospel, all right? And Lord willing, you are the elect, whoever is listening. Then you were set from the beginning, man, to be freed from sin, man, to be blameless. OK, though you've been messing up this whole time, man. <laughs> That's how precious the blood is, man. OK, it's the blood of your how that frees you from your sins, that you're not judged by the law. OK, That's very, very crucial, man, to your salvation. Let's read verse 30 again from the top. Moreover, whom he did predestinate, them he also called, and whom he called, them he also glorified, I mean justified, and whom he justified, them he also glorified, right? Justified meaning what? He justified, okay? He says, hey, this spirit right here has no sin. I don't care what y'all say. I said he has no sin, not because of himself, because he's just so great, but because my first begotten son, Yahweh Shai, has covered him. His blood, that sacrifice, covers him through belief, through faith, that I put in him in the wound from the beginning, man. Okay, we was born with this faith. Think about that. That's big time, okay? Now let's go back to Romans chapter 6. 
But we're going to start at verse 4 and read into the verse 7 that I read earlier. It says, Therefore we are buried with him by baptism to his death, by the Holy Ghost, by the Holy Spirit, okay? That like as Yahweh was raised up from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we also should walk in the newness of life. For if we have been planted together in the likeness of his death, we shall be also in the likeness of his resurrection. Now, when did that planted happen, man? You were planted at the beginning of the world, man. You were free from sin at the beginning, man. Okay? That started. That was planned at the beginning. That was the will of Yahweh, man. Certain souls to be freed. Okay? Certain souls to be planted, man, in the likeness of his death. Okay? We just plan it out. All right? Verse 6. Knowing this, that our old man is crucified with him, that the body of sin might be destroyed, that henceforth we should not serve sin. For he that is dead is freed from sin. Okay, he that is dead is freed from sin. And like I read, man, they who were born of Yahweh Shai do not sin. That's powerful, and that's a mystery. Verse 8, Now if we be dead with Yahweh Shai, we believe that we shall also live with him. Knowing that Yahweh Shah being raised from the dead dieth no more. Death have no more dominion over him. For in that he died, he died unto sin once. But in that he lived, he lived unto Yahweh. Likewise, reckon you also yourselves to be dead indeed unto sin. Right. But alive unto Yahweh by Shem Shai, through Yahweh Shai. Do you hear that, man? Let's read that again. Verse 11. Likewise, reckon you also yourselves to be dead indeed unto sin, but alive unto Yahweh through Yahweh Shai, right? Through that blood, man. That's the only way you are dead unto sin, okay? Which is why Yahweh Shai said this to the disciples. Let's go to John chapter 8, starting in verse 24. I said therefore unto you that you shall die in your sins, for if you believe not that I am he, you shall die in your sins. Talking to the wicked Pharisees, man. He like, look, I'm the way, man. Okay? I'm the way to be freed from your sins, man. That's why Yahweh Shai said what he said to the disciples, man. The mysteries of the kingdom of heaven is given to you, and to them is not given. When they was wondering why come he wasn't speaking to them plainly, man. Okay? So he got to be given a meaning from the foundation of the world to be freed from sin. Okay? It's a plan. It's a masterpiece of a will of Yahweh, period. All right. So it says, you shall die in your sins. Then said they unto him, who art thou? And Yahweh shall said unto them, even the same that I said unto you from the beginning. I have many things to say and to judge of you. But he that has sent me is true. And I speak to the world those things which I have heard of him. They understood not that he spake to them of the father. Right, man. So it's an understanding of this will. That's why IRC don't get it, man. They don't understand that you are not walking around keeping the law based off the law. OK, you're not free because of the law. OK, that freed us from that, man. Yahweh Shah freed us from that, man, because we couldn't keep the law. All right. Point blank period, man. You can't walk around in that spirit like you got it together, man. It's all about Yahweh Shah's blood. That's why the wicked Pharisees did not get it. Okay? Things went right over their head for that very reason, man. Being proud of themselves, like therefore they're going to make it because of themselves. No. You are free through Yahweh Shai's blood, and that was a plan that was mapped out from the beginning of the world. Point blank, period. Last scripture. Let's go to Psalm chapter 32, verse 2. Blessed is the man unto whom the Lord imputeth not iniquity, and in whose spirit there is no guile. Right, man, who is freed, okay? Not that, old, oh, they never did anything wrong, but who is freed through their faith and through the belief on Yahweh Shai, man, on Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, through Yahweh Shai's blood, being a mediator to get back to the Father, man. Okay, point blank period, man. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai justified. He sent out, he called us back. Okay, the hopeful elect back. When I say back, because they were perfect at the beginning with Yahweh Shai, man. And that's a mystery. Okay, well, that's another lesson. <laughs> but uh, hey, Lord willing, you will edify in the spirit. Really meditate about this, man. It's beautiful when you do. 
And you really see the power of it, man. Being freed from sin. We need it. Because if we wasn't, we'd be dead already. All right? So I want to give our praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakai Kodash, for giving the spirit to do this lesson. Double honor to the elves of Great Millstone. And Shalom to your Akamath that is doing the truth and sincerity. Shalom.